tell us uh, about your run out there. Uh, what, are you okay? I mean, yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. Um, I had a couple mistakes early on of my own, and then from there it was just kind of damage control, trying not to get smashed too many times. It was every, every restart was just survival. I couldn't figure out what to do not to get knocked out of the way. It just seems like if you leave any hole, or even if you don't leave a hole, they'll just drive in the back of you. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I would have done differently looking back, but I think those mistakes early on set us back too far to be in that mid-pack. We had speed in the car. Anytime we had clean air, it seemed like we could pick guys off. It was just when everyone was bunched together, uh, they don't leave you a whole lot of space. Do they race uh, too rough over here for you? Uh, I mean, it's just different. I think if I would have known that lap one, I would have probably moved some guys out of the way and held my position in the top five. I think once I got cycled back, it's I don't I don't know how to not get smashed off the track. I'm not sure if they were aiming for me a little bit more than other guys, but. Yeah, it was definitely a new experience. Sometimes they don't know how to you know, not aim at each other. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of target practice out there. <laughs> Is it a thing so you expected or anything touch, hit you off guard from today? I mean, the aggression definitely caught me off guard. Um, I think I've had more contact today in one race than probably my entire career combined. Uh, I honestly didn't know how the car was still driving straight after at the end, so the cars are strong. Hendrick Motorsports build, Hendrick Motorsports build this sort of strong, safe race car. It was fast. Uh, yeah, just disappointed we couldn't give them kind of the day they deserved. Jordan, I mean, it's, it's a topic among drivers here. But we can talk about Good job, respect. Jordan. Hey, thanks. Great job. Lack of respect to have for each other. We can see that a lot today. When you're in that environment, you just look at these guys going, what are you guys doing? Yeah, honestly, I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. I mean, if someone came over to the sports car side and did that, it would be like ejected out of the race immediately. So. For me, I should have probably expected that, just watching years pass, but I think when you're actually in the car getting smashed around, it's a much different experience. I think even when you're 29, battling for 29th position, they don't care. They'll, they'll go for 28th and just use you up. So just a different form of racing that I guess I wasn't used to and probably should have expected, but yeah, it's still cool to get my first cup race debut. Uh, yeah, just wish it would have gone a little bit better. How do you think that NASCAR should handle it? Drivers getting, you know, more respectful racing instead of uh, I mean, I don't know. This is my first time, so I'm probably the wrong guy to ask. The cars are so strong, like, I honestly don't know how my car made it through the whole race with how much crazy contact I had. Like, I've never had so many big hits in my life and kept driving, thinking the car was fine. So, I'm not sure how they do it. Um, it's just a respect thing on track, and I think they've just developed it over the years, and they're all used to it. I think if someone uses you up, you use them back, and they kind of take every inch they want. So you come back and the do it again? Uh, I mean, I would love another shot. Just kind of having this experience, I might get some more padding in my helmet and in my arms and my wrists. But yeah, definitely a lot to take in this weekend. Appreciate it. Thanks.